La Bear. That is what we are talking about this morning. I have in studio uh, from the Slam Dance Film Festival, we have Nick Mang Manganello and Randy Ricks, uh, or otherwise known as, uh, quote, Master Blaster. Is yes, this correct? Sure, absolutely correct. <laughs> well, you guys, I, I'm so pleased to have you here in studio. You're here at Slam Dance, and I'm excited to talk about this film. First off, how, how have you liked Park City so far? It's amazing. Uh, it's our, my first time. It's been, it's been beautiful. We got here on Thursday before kind of the madness started, so uh -huh. we've been really enjoying our Ourselves. Very good. Do yeah. you guys ski or snowboard? Uh, well, I didn't have time to bring it, but in this business we have to travel a lot. So I've been mm -hmm. a lot of places and this is beautiful. I have a really good friend who uh, has spent some time out here, had been out here, came out here with me. But uh, it's gorgeous. I haven't been anywhere as wow. beautiful as this. Incredible. Well, glad to hear that. Uh, obviously, we do we do love our, our town uh, quite very much. Glad you guys are enjoying it. We hope the as movie well. and, and we get to warm everybody up with the <laughs> cold weather. I'm, I'm sure we will. And speaking of, of the movie, uh, Nick, <laughs> tell us what is this film about and why and where did the idea come from? So my brother who directed this, Joe Manganello, uh, also uh, my producing partner on this, um, he was in Magic Mike so he was one of the strippers in that movie and uh, when we started our company together about a year ago uh, this just kind of made total sense. Let's find a, a real club, let's let's talk to the real guys, the, the real Magic Mike guys and La Bear Dallas is been doing it from the start and is the best in the business. So, uh, and that is the club that this film is based off. Correct. Of completely. So, kind of, you, you actually do some uh, personal interviews with a lot of these guys, kind of find out behind the scenes things in terms of their life, right? Correct. Yes. Yeah, so Dallas La Bear is the the mainstay, of the party palace of the United States of America. As far as male dancing is, it's as high as you get. It's the Super Bowl of it. We've been open in Dallas 34 years. We've had a chain, had multiple bears across the United States, which we will have again. It is, uh, you know, the only freestanding building where we have full, full. Board Las Vegas style mail review. Uh, like I said, I, it's, we opened um, August 78 and I started February 79 and have continued. I also owned the club for a period of, of almost 10 years and uh, the owner now is a very, very good friend of mine and you know, just continued the success of it. And we've been having great success for in our 34th year, believe it or not. Wow. And it's a lot of fun. Wow, incredible. So we're, we specialize in bachelorette parties and birthday parties. It's an occasion situation, but you can talk about the fun, but you almost have to come see it and feel it. But that's what the movie brings to The movie brings fun over, you can feel the fun through the movie. Exactly. <laughs> I love you guys have uh, certainly brought a, a fun uh, dimension here. I think uh, to Slam Dance and even Sundance. We're going to take a quick look at the trailer to give you guys a look of, of what you can expect, and then we'll come awesome. back and talk more about Great. it. Here it is. La Berme. There you have it. And I had to ask Randy, like, where, where did we see you in there? But we're uh, in actually, there. Actually, <laughs> the very first snip, I was walking across the main stage pointing like there this. There you have it. it. We nice. do a lot of, uh, like I said, Las Vegas, multiple guy acts, a Las Vegas style mail review, which is a full choreograph, you know, anywhere from 8 to 10, 15 minute routines, anywhere from 3 to 10 guys. So mm -hmm. I think anybody who would come out and see the show would be very, very impressive. Couldn't be more appreciative of the guys to portray us in such a true light because there's always the <clears throat> the standards and you know insecurities of people wanting yeah. to come to a show like that not knowing really what they want what they're going to see but when they come they see it so fun and basic and down to earth that they really enjoy it and mm -hmm. that's what I've always looked at like LaBear Dallas having been such a part of my life for so long I looked at it like you know a grocery store saying you know Tom Thumb Kroger's or whatever services a community with toothpaste and stuff like that we service community with entertainment so yeah. it's, it's, there it's, you have it when Joe and I got into town it was they were they were they welcomed us with open arms and they really let us in and you know like I said Joe being in Magic Mike I think that was kind of that opened the doors for us. Mm -hmm. they, 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 he was one of them. So we looked uh, up. So we look up to him so much. He's such a humble guy to mm -hmm. have such accolades already, and he's just, you know, to portray. You know, a lot of the stuff is portrayed correctly, but I felt like they gave us an opportunity to really portray not just the avenue of, of what male dancing is, but also the lifestyles of the different guys. You can be, you know, a very good businessman and also do this. You can also do it for a stepping stone to another business. I have at least. Having been there in 34 years, and you know, like I said, we specialize in bachelorette birthday parties, and bachelorette and birthday parties with all women. Of course, we let men in our club also, but parties with all women, it's just kind of fun. It's like a, it's like a little Girl Scout party or a slumber party <laughs> or sorority party. Really? It's all the girls, oh, girl and they're just having fun, so there's a different atmosphere there. Oh, nice. And, and speaking of that, and I, I love how there you've created this platform to have these discussions to kind of uh, break up some of these uh, misconceptions, I guess you can say. So, uh, Nick, in terms of 
your experience from a, from, a, from a production aspect, what was like your greatest surprise in, in going into this? Did you, did you have any expectations, or did you come out of it saying, "Huh, well, that that worked out"? Yeah, I think you know, going into it, we we thought maybe we were going to stumble upon maybe like a Jersey Shore sort of thing, where it was kind of. We didn't think we would, would necessarily bond with these guys or relate to them or, or really kind of understand what it was they were doing, but they're just really, they're, they're so charismatic, they're gentlemen, they treat all their customers great, and they're businessmen, like Randy said, Randy's been doing this for 34 years, and uh, you know, his, his mother is, is a big part of his life, and they treat women with respect, and um, they were just so gracious to us, mm -hmm. and we really appreciated them just kind of welcoming, welcoming us in. Mm -hmm. Very so. good. And, and last thing, Randy. Well, else? I just you know want everybody to come out and look at the show. Libera Dallas, a party policy, United States of America, best male dance club ever going to be, ever has been, ever will be. And come see you know me and all my all my mates, all the men of Libera. Why didn't bit. you bring all of them? Well, well, That's what I want to know. Uh, <laughs> the couch wasn't big enough. Ah, oh, so. dang yeah. it, yeah, guys! Yeah, come we on. Did, we did okay, bring we did time. bring our 2014 couch. Though I brought about 10 of them for you and your staff. Thank you. So Thank you, Randy. Hopefully, you get to see the show soon. And, uh, <laughs> yeah, so Libera Slam Dance premieres tonight, so it's going to be awesome. Good. Well, a good luck. And we can't wait to bear all. So. <laughs> exactly. Is there going to be a show after the yeah. show? Hey, Absolutely. Okay, okay, you'll have to, okay, you'll have to, to find, find out. out. In our <laughs> business, there's always a show after the show. <laughs> the never, a never ending show, really. So, thank you guys so much. We appreciate you being here, Randy and Nick. You can check it out, like I said. Also, go online to Slam Dance for more information. We have more Sundance and Slam Dance and music coming up next.